recording ready. Okay. Where are you at? I'm coming down. Oh. oh. Coming down nice and slow. Okay, well, hello, it's me, Caesar Salad Man, and my beautiful cameraman, Arctic Fox. He's got some nice stuff attached to his head. Don't punch me, it'll just make a loud noise. But, um. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm relaxed, man. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what I'm wearing, but you're making a little red bar happen on the bottom of my screen, so don't. Actually, I think I've got to uh, quiet down these cows real quick. Okay. But anyway, we're here back on a nice little world in Sky Factory 2.5. This is version 2.5.4. And today, we're going to be taking another look at the Move Fluids mod, which in don't escape, which involves these beautiful fellers over here, the Move Fluid cows, which, if you didn't see the first video, basically are just cows that... Uh, produce all the different liquids in the game. Could you run over and like look at their any eyes real quick just to show that they have all these different liquids? Uh sure. Well you can just see from the color, it's not a huge deal, but essentially what happens is uh you can milk the cows for different color different things. So say I wanted liquid blue slime from this cow, I would grab it. Pour it out. Oh, there you go. Of course, I that's not important. Uh, I showed this in the last um, video, Wait, but today, what I will be showing is how to get the liquids from the cows into a usable form. Because I did not display that. So if you just follow me over here through the mess of cows, what you might assume is that you use this place, a tinker smeltery, to pour the melted metals in somehow. But if I come over here, correct. yes, you would be close. But say I took this molten aluminum here, which you do not want to step in, by the way. That's a bad idea. I can't put it in here. It won't go in. It won't go in the smeltery little controller thingy. And this is off. It's just for demonstrational purposes. This do nothing. It would also glitch out the rest of the fluids within the smeltery, which you don't want. And... What I'm trying to say is that you cannot get um, move fluid stuff into this uh, smeltery. It's not how it works. So what you have to do is come over here and I'm just going to dump out this aluminum real quick. From this guy here, we would milk him or pig iron him or whatever you want to call it. Pour it into this tank. Oh, it looks like bacon. Delicious. And then, as you can see, we have 1,000 millibuckets of pig iron in here, and we need, uh, if we, and we have a tank connected to a seared faucet going into a casting basin. So you right-click on the seared, hello, go, 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 go. What did you do? Why isn't it working? <laughs> There's no pig iron block. That is the problem. So if we go here. Take this aluminum, which I know there's a block for, and click here. It'll start pouring into here. But as you can see, um, it there's 1,000 millibuckets per bucket of stuff from the cows, but it takes 1296, so 1,296 millibuckets to fill a block. So you do not get a full block per Mufu cow, but if you milk it twice, you can pour it into here and then get a bucket. Uh, and, or get a full block of it, which you can then pop out and use for whatever you want. But if you want to try and automate this a little bit more, what you can do is go into here, this little chest, take a look, this transfer node, take it out, and attach it there, so that when it fills up, it sucks the, the aluminum block out straight into this chest. So if we were to go in here and try and find it, there are no more aluminum cows. Do you see any? Nope, there's still that one on. Uh, tick cooldown, so we'll just wait for that one real quick. So this cow is running out of tick cooldown, so once it's at zero, we can milk it again, and take this other bucket of aluminum, again, pour it into here, and then pour it out so that this fills all the way, 
and then when this cools, it will be sucked directly into the chest for future use. And as you can see, it's pretty simple. Um, I know there are much more complicated ways to 100% automate this, putting cows on conveyor belts and things like that. But I think we're going to save that for a future video if you guys like this one. So if you want to see how to like fully automate this whole system, then leave a like on this video. If we get, I don't know, two likes, then, <laughs> then we will, then we'll make another uh, tutorial displaying how to uh, fully automate this. Except but other than that, dumb. why? We don't need likes. Everyone on this channel is pretty much people we know. We need shares to get more people to see these things. Oh, right. Okay. Tell them what to do, cameraman. You're smarter than me. Uh, if, if you know someone who likes these things... Hold on. Let me get this dummy in a cage. Huh? No. <laughs> no. No, please. Uh, yeah. no. Uh, yeah. If, if you think you know someone who would like this then share it with them because more people is how the channel oh, grows the not likes i'm out of the cage now i was gonna say if you know anyone who knows how to break if you know anyone who knows how to break out of a witch's cage then do that because i'm trapped and i'm scared why would you do this let me out Wait a minute. Whee!